this is Jenny McCarthy. Spark Johnson. Tony Hawk. Kate Flannery from The Office. We're watching. And you are watching. You're watching the juice. Juice? Juice. On the OCRegister.com. <laughs> oh! live from Children's Hospital of Orange County, raising some money, and you know what you can do? So I'm here with the lovely Sissini inside the KISS booth, which is also the Radio Lollipop booth at Chalk. It's just amazing. I got, got Toyota that donated $20,000 so far. You have one check and I have another. Are you happy you saw Ryan today? Yeah. And I heard you gave him something special. I heard you on the radio. What did you give him? Cupcakes. So what was his reaction when you gave him the cupcakes? He goes, mmm. Just giving back, you know, watching the kids get a smile on their face and you know just enjoying the moment you know that's pretty much what it's about and there's a carnival going on outside there's been some live performances I want to say hi how are you nice to see you it's Ryan Seacrest um, Museum suppressed uh -huh. you're not okay well I'm gonna take this and put it in a special place and not forget it all right cool. you're the best give me a we're here at the Trump National Golf Course for the X Games Celebrity Skin Classic hosted by Ryan Sheckler. Skating, golf, is there any sport you can't play? Uh, I, I think if I put my mind to anything, I can actually do it. I'm kind of curious to see how good Ryan actually is at golf. He, talk, he talks a big game. I told my friends and everyone that if they hit Carrie with a ball, I'll give him 100 bucks. So that's the, uh, Carrie's a big target today. Hopefully today is my good day and not a bad day because like when, it, when it's a good day, I promise you I'm so damn good. Just finesse. It's about just getting under there and just... If you get two or three holes in and you know that you're not going to win, that's when you start drinking. Are we going to do a little score sum in the foursomes today? Who's in your foursome? Oh, we got a foursome going up? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I have it Whoa. <laughs> I have the biggest crush on King Fed. I see your shirt says King of Rock, but I think today you're going to be the King of Green. What do you think? Uh, no, I'm probably the Queen of Green. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a responsibility for us with this great opportunity and the platform we have. They have such charmed lives, especially in the entertainment business. I mean, you got to make time for giving back. We have the, the Sheckler Foundation, which is me and my brothers and my family. We work a lot with Red Bull, so we're doing the Wings for Life with Red Bull. It's for fallen athletes that, you know, are trying to get back up, trying to do their thing again. So that's what I like supporting. Okay, you guys are seeing history right here. I am about to putt. Maybe I should keep my day job. I don't know. my day job. Spending some time at the Playboy Mansion, my name's Ben Aaron for The Juice. This is the third year we've held the uh, Hot Summer Nights event here at the Playboy Mansion. Uh, it, last year it's been to benefit breast cancer, this year it's for the United Breast Cancer Foundation. And we've invited models from all across the country, about 380, 390 models. Uh, we have a live silent auction, we've got a fashion show with our swimwear company, Copa Wear. We have all the sea of beautiful breasts here today. One in seven will develop cancer. So. We cannot give up. We have to fight hard to find a cure for breast cancer. What do you love so much about the mansion itself? The mansion is where we all go just to hang loose and just get crazy with one another. There's lots of scantily clad people in there. I know, a little offended. My eyes are just, I, I'm trying to talk to people and I'm like, boom. So you just thought, play my mansion corset. I wasn't going to wear something else, but I didn't know if it was going to be cold. Like a pantsuit? You never know you need a good pair of boxing gloves. Are those real? They, you know, The diamonds. Well. That's it. Your time at the mansion's over. Did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time at the Playboy Mansion. Did you? I had a great time. Awesome. What do you think, Twister at my house? I think so. Let's go. Red hand blue. What's up, Juice fans? I'm Amanda, and it's time to get your poker face on, because we're about to ante up for autism with an event hosted by Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> I was honored to, to be invited, and, and I'm terrible at poker, but anything to raise awareness and funding for autism, I'm in. If you can make money, giving money is ten times better. You know, it feels way better for me to give, you know, $100,000 to a good cause than to make a hundred grand. You know? Taco was one of the first places that I went to when Evan was diagnosed with autism, and I was so grateful for this community because really it's an organization of moms, helping moms. We believe that, you know, a certain vaccine or vaccines triggered our children's autism. And that's how we're getting them better. We're healing the vaccine injury and they're getting better. It's an injustice that's going on and, and I just feel like people need to wake up and see that we are telling the truth. There's a lot of guys here tonight and they're ready to play poker, but uh, you think you're gonna have them beat? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're gonna take them? I'm gonna try. 
We'll see. It's all for a good cause. I know. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. How does it feel to finally finish the book? It's nice to have it done. It's been a long process of kind of putting it all together. To see the finished product finally and, the, and, it, and to see it on the bookshelves is a little surreal, but uh, it's nice to have it finished. Your wife's a fighter as well, so if you guys get into a disagreement, <laughs> do you arm wrestle or how do you take it? Yeah, wrestling matches at home have become much more interesting. It's kind of hot, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It, he basically breaks that whole uh, misconception about you know age. You know, he's just a great inspiration to you know a lot of young aspiring fighters. Yeah. We're all fighters. We're, we're all uh, you know endure adversity of life, and, and you can't use that as an excuse. You, you have to realize that uh, if you're comfortable with who you are, that all those things, whether they were positive or negative, contribute to the character and the person that you are. I'm Doug Jones. Ah! You're watching the juice. Keep watching. You put the badge on, things change.